Hi. Hi. Elise from Tax Baby. I'm head car seat tech. You, I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure you already know who I am. Deborah, mum of two, mm -hmm. and I work so uh, she's been tough right now with coronavirus and everything. Yeah. I, I haven't been out much. Uh, my poor children have been out even less. I may have gone a little bit crazy. Um, so you would know that we've shut our office. Um, and, and I may have, uh, I, I promise I didn't buy a lot of toilet paper, but I definitely, <laughs> when all of that panic shopping was happening, I definitely, definitely bought two weeks worth of groceries um, and waited in line for about an hour and a half at cold storage. Um, but I finally sent my children back to school. I don't think that we're going to go on holiday, um, uh, necessarily. Although, I don't know, I really want to take Robbie to visit their grandparents in Australia. So, what, what, what have you been doing with coronavirus? Well, for me it's just home. Getting kids from school, staying at home, going into the beach where there's nobody. De Deb had a friend from Hong Kong stay with her. She was here for supposed to be here for how long? Two weeks. But she was here for a month. Yeah. Uh, and it was just stay at home. Yeah, because yeah. you were she yeah. was really worried about being able to get back into yeah. Hong Kong. And, and it's just staying at home and just doing our own thing away from the crowds. Yeah. The airport supposed to be empty. We went to the airport. It was empty, so we went there. So <laughs> I think a really poignant thing to be talking about right now is the fact that uh, around the world, there's heaps and heaps of panic, understandably, because yep. there's just a lot of data around yep. coronavirus. Um, and, you know, with my heritage, the whole concept of keep calm and carry on is really stoic. And how lucky that um, our friends at Mountain Buggy this week should launch a new campaign called Keep Calm and Carry yep. On. Yep. And so the whole point of it is, so you may know that Mountain Buggy's ethos is to live life without limit. And yes. it's to be less fearful about taking your kids out um, and about and doing things. And to go do things that you thought maybe you had to leave behind when you had kids. And so I think now more than ever, it's really, really accurate yeah. um, and relevant. And this Keep Calm Carry On campaign represents Mountain Buggy's move from traditionally just being known as a buggy company, especially like an off-road, all-terrain buggy. Bu buggy company, into the travel scene. And who better to do that with than us, right? <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> um, so, um, we absolutely love Mountain Buggy here. You may know that we don't really stock a lot of prams, but we've gone really hard with Mountain Buggy. And mostly, well, pretty much all of the products that we stock across the board are because uh, I use them and absolutely fell in love with them. So my pram story or my pram journey has been pretty elaborate. I've had, I think, over 10 prams in my lifetime. Um, and all of them are gone now. I just have three mountain baggy prams. I have the duet, which mm -hmm. goes like a hot knife through butter over curbs and corners like a cat on carpet. It's like it's pure bliss to drive. Um, I've got the mountain buggy nano because you know you can't get a better in travel flight stroller. travel stroller. Yep. It can take kids up to 20 kilos. That's like half of my 10 year old, uh, half of my 10 month old. <laughs> uh, I grow really big children. Um, <laughs> And, um, and I have got the Mountain Buggy Mini, which I like very much. It's kind of halfway between the Nano and the um, mm, Duet. Um, so that's my life. So we, we really like where Mountain Buggy comes from. We really like that they listen to parents. Yep. So we went to them, and our relationship with Mountain Buggy started um, a couple of years ago when we went to them and said, hey, there's this awesome travel car seat called the Cosco Scenario Next. Yeah, everybody likes the Cosco Scenario Next. Yes. Um, and it's actually, it actually works really well with your pram. Would you consider doing official compatibility testing? And they came back straight away and said, it's popular, that's awesome, let's do some testing. And so they did a full suite of safety testing and they came back and they made it officially compatible. Yes. They were the first stroller company globally to come in and say something like that. And the fact that they could turn that around so quickly is really testament to them. And then you just have a look at their product range and it's fantastic um, because it really does listen to parents. And it covers everything. Yeah, so they yeah. keep calm and carry on sweet. Okay, Ali, I might need some support sweet. here. They have the Mountain Buggy Nano, which is the travel pram. Amazing. They have Whoa. the Nano Duo, which is probably the lightest double pram out there. It's a dream to push. Um, really quick and easy fold. Mm -hmm. And if you think a double pram can't fit in the back of your car, a dual can. Think again. Yeah. Um, they've got the Juno, which is a baby carrier hand. with a pocket in front where you can actually like warm your hands. So well, that's you, actually you kind can of touch the kids, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's like in winter, you know, you can 
you are wearing. No, I don't know in winter. <laughs> okay, but yeah, in winter it's helpful to be able to hide your head somewhere. Yes, yes. your head's get cold. Um, then they got the pod. We use the pod a lot. We have the pod in the office here for when um, people come in with their kids because they always want a snack. We have yummy snacks in the office. Um, so the pod is um, like the Phil and Ted's lobster. It's a high chair that clamps onto a table mm -hmm. and it folds up so small. I take it to the Hawker Centre. It lives in the bottom of my mountain buggy duet. And it falls out flat. Completely flat. It's like comfy. Um, and, and, yeah, and we use it at the Hawker Centre because, well, at least at the Hawker Centre near us, they don't have baby high chairs. So we just clamp it onto the Hawker Centre table. Um, and then my children like shovel pound. <laughs> um, and then... Um, what am I up to? Travel bag. The, the traveler, the travel bag. Um, oh. So that is like a pram bag. Yeah, to protect your pram. We do have, I won't name any names, but we do have another travel bag for prams. Um, and it is just in, like it offers different features. And so there will be one of those travel bags that is really perfect for you. And then they also have the bag rider. Is that uh -huh. six? Did six. I did I get them? Seven, six. It's six. six. I think okay, six. Okay. okay, and then they, then they have the bag rider. Yes. And we have a bag rider here for you today because we're going to give you a bag rider. Well, we're going to give one of you a bag rider. Bag rider is the coolest thing since sliced bread because it's a carry-on suitcase. It will fit in on your pack. Yeah, and you and if you've been following us for a while, I have a I have a big thing for carry-on. Like I don't like checked-in suitcases. So. Um, the cool thing about this is, whoa, when you unlock this guy, it has a like a tripod frame that comes out. And you lift this guy up, and then we're going to open it for you. But um, a harness goes on the front. Can you see that picture? That's right. There's a child riding on that suitcase. We used to, um, I used to do this with Peter before... Um, before Mountain Buggy came out with the bag rider. Um, and it is, can you see? Can you see the harness? Poor Deb's gonna have to carry everything. Oh, that's because I opened it up and then I didn't close it all Thank you. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really helpful. I'm so sorry. Oops. Facebook Live. from Instagram yeah and um, and then um, what you do is you circle the things that apply to you and then yeah. you repost it you tag us we will see that and then we will put you in for a draw yes into our game. and if you do it just a little bonus tip if you do it on Facebook and Instagram then that's two entries into the competition okay. I like two entries okay so what this says here it says airplane bingo circle the things that happened during your last fight with kids. Because there are some good things that happen on a plane and then there are some bad things that happen on a plane. Uh -huh. So the first one, kids slept. On my last, on your last flight they did, right? They did, but on the way back you were up for 10 hours straight. Okay, um, yeah, so kids slept, not on my last flight. <laughs> tsunami, like a, like a poo tsunami. Yep, yep. I've had that on, an, I've had, yes. And that's why it brings it locks. Um, watched a whole movie without interruption. Oh, that happened once when I had one kid, uh, but not when I had three. I watched one. Really? Which one did you watch? I was sleeping. Oh. Oh. Instead of 
think I went to Waterloo. Yeah, okay. Um, had, to, had to pay for excess luggage. No, I haven't done that, but because I can choose this one here, pretended luggage was a cot to get free luggage allowance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had a meltdown. It's not quite clear whether you had a meltdown or the child had a meltdown. We will let you... Um, yeah, I'm playing on the last one. Yeah, we'll I just wanted them on your own. Yeah, I was alone with two of them and they were like... like you know what it I should have put on here? Did you have a child when you were pregnant? You know what I should have put on here? Did your child... Did your four-year-old, who is completely toilet trained, watch Paw Patrol for eight solid hours and actually overflow the emergency nappy that you had put on him in case he couldn't go to the toilet when the seatbelt sign was on, um, but he absolutely refused to stop watching and just, like, obviously weed in his nappy the whole day and the nappy overflowed. Um, it's not on here because it's a bit long, but yes, I would circle that. I would circle that a lot. Thank you for that call. Yeah, well, yeah, like, like it could have been a lot worse. But, yeah. You know, missed out on the bassinet seat. That's happened to me. Stranger offered to carry your crying baby. Yes, now, that has happened to me. It's a Thank good, you. It's a good flight. Thank that you, happens. Angel. Thank you. Here you go. Argued with your cabin crew about your car seat every flight. I don't start arguing. It just usually ends up as an argument. But then, um, in case that didn't apply to you, have you found your cabin crew angel? I found one on an Emirates line. What did yeah. she do? Oh, she was just amazing. She just kept bringing us food, and then they had a um, what what are those what are those cameras where the piece of paper spits out at the end? Polaroid. Oh, yeah. Polaroid. Polaroid. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then they kept taking cute Polaroid pictures of Jack. But so I really liked it. Flying with Emirates that time. Drank wine, of course, <laughs> and got angry looks from other passengers. Uh huh. Yeah. Anyway, so circle what applies to you, and then repost it, tag us, and we really really. Yes. And then at the end of the week, we're going to choose somebody to win our lucky bag rider. I should tell you some things about bag rider really quickly. It has, Ali's going to help me with this, it has got a 35 litre luggage capacity. Tick. Um, it's it, nine months to three years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once your child can sit on eight yes. until they're 15 kilos, yep. which covers a really big range yep. actually. Um, your kids didn't hit 15 kilos until quite late, right? No, Honestly, no. I don't remember I, anything. Isa, Isa, yeah, Eli was a big kid young, but Isa, Isa yeah. he didn't have his growth spurt until after that. Mm. Now he's big. He, he, was, he's, he just passed 18 deaths. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. So he was, yeah, he was under um, them for a long time. And yeah, you can use it just as a carry on if you want, or you can yes. turn it into the kid harness, which I really like. Because we, like I said, we used to put Pete on not super stably. Yeah. But it's good that we can use it besides just like it. Yeah. Like and this week kids. and this week we're doing a big celebration of all things mountain buggy. So each day we're gonna have something really fun. So keep your ears and eyes peeled. Yes. Alright. See ya. Adios, senorita. Have a good day. <laughs>